Mayor Barry's affair took place with a subordinate has many saying that this constitutes a Me Too movement. Moment, the movement against, among other things, sexual harassment in the workplace. Yeah, though many men in similar situations have resigned amid criticism, some of the Me Too movement supporters are backing Mayor Barry. News Channel 5's Kimberly Davis tells us why. If you search the hashtag MeToo on Twitter, you will find thousands of posts dealing with workplace sexual harassment. Tonight, Mayor Megan Berry is under fire for a similar situation, but she argues her situation is not the same. This is a consensual relationship between two middle-aged people who had feelings for each other. Um, and what we did was wrong. Uh, I'm, I'm not running away from that, but this is not the Me Too movement. Mayor Megan Berry sparked controversy after admitting to an affair with the head of her security detail. He has since retired, but Mayor Berry still holds her office and says she will not step down. I say it's not a Me Too situation because of the consenting adults, because of the age of the adults. Dr. Gwen Brown Felder is a local Nashville pastor who counsels people in similar situations and says the lines could be blurred when it comes to the Me Too movement. It's a great tension in this situation because we have a female in power in a patriarchal somewhat society where males are considered in power. So and you have, have this kind of dichotomy going on that causes you to say, well, wow, can this be characterized as one of the Me Too situations? You probably didn't know, but the Me Too movement actually began 10 years ago to encourage people to speak out about sexual violence and harassment. Most victims have been women, but Dr. Brown Felder feels just because the mayor is a woman, she should not be held to a different standard. There is a higher accountability once you make a choice to lead. It doesn't say you're not going to make mistakes. In Nashville, I'm Kimberly Davis, News Channel 5.